Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am out uh, traveling on the East Midlands uh, farewell tour and as you can see the East Midlands 43102 has just pulled into St Pancras now. So what I'm going to be doing is traveling up to Leicester and back for today and then hopefully uh, I shall show you some videos of what's going to be going on around uh, for today and uh, loads of little photos. See you later. So we've just been allowed through onto the platform and we're just going to go and find our seats. Um, the train's coming from a lead service um, so the next we're due out at night, 21 minutes past so it means we've roughly got around about uh, six minutes to load onto the train uh, and then we should be heading straight out. So um, some of the stock and some of the trains still in service. Um, it's going to be quite a shame when they do eventually go. Um, but fingers crossed we will have a nice little journey and I'll be able to get some videos as we go through uh, all around. So stay tuned. So I'm on one mic one seven and we've just gone through Bedford and so that is being put on by the Branch Line Society and East Midlands Railway and 125 Group um, to celebrate farewell tour of the HSTs. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. We've seen um, a lot of freight, a lot of tent links, um, and hopefully we'll be able to get some decent photos when we get up to Leicester. There is a couple of views, so as you can see, we're going past a few trains. Um, currently, we're fast, down fast. And they're roughly around about a minute early, <laughs> but it just shows you uh, even for the old girl. Oh, that one seconds in 66 is passing each other, yeah, hell yeah. So we've just arrived at Leicester, we're on time. Um, so what I'm going to do is go up to see some of the power cars and try and get some photos. Um, and then uh, hopefully um, get some more uh, videos of us going along the line side on the way back.
here we are at Leicester. Uh, we're due off uh, in around about four or five minutes time. And uh, there's this side. quite a few people here taking photos. And now I'll just walk down the side of the train. And uh, get back, but it's definitely a As you can see, I am now back in the log cabin and I'm about to start work on Gordon's Lane on the wiring. Now, the lad's gonna be DCC. Um, I'm gonna have track circuit sections and I'm also gonna be having color light signaling. So I want it to work um, as it would do on the real railway. Um, obviously in the last video I showed you the control panel. Um, so that's what this will control, all the signals um and all the points so what i've done is i've just drawn a little plan which is here not to scowl or anything but it's just a plan um so what i would do um is i'll show you on the screen how i've put it up into sections and then you can actually see what it's going to look like and then we'll get back to actually getting some solder and doing the wiring so this is a rough sketch of all the baseboards and where the points are going to go. So I've basically, I've almost finished scenic ins 
uh, scenic uh, four, five, and six. And as you can see here, you've got different indications of where. So these at the moment is where I've put the feeds in um, for the track circuits. Um, so I'm going to have, if you see here, AP means approach track. So all those will be going to the same um, terminal. And then the stop track is there, which is where the signal is going to be. So if the train's coming up, signal's at red. Then as soon as the train hits that stop track on the up line, then that means then that train will then stop. If it's a showing a proceed aspect, it will still continue going through. And then the same again in there. The replacement track for that signal is the approach track. So I'm going to be using some uh, modules from Model Railway Signaling Solutions. Um, they're a great product. Um, I'm helping test them out at the moment. Um, before that actually gets released into the market um, and see what sort of demand there is. So that's one of the plans um, and that is how the um, track is going to be wired. And then here is another plan on how it's going to be wired up. So I will just pan round to there so you can see there's a tag strip and this is what the tag strip is going to be. So the top two ones is going to be DCC and then the common. So that's the plus or the minus, whichever way around you want. Then the power there is the 24 volts or 12 volts, depending on what you need for the modules or anything else. A zero volt line to basically ground it down to earth. Um, and then here you can see the different types of tracks um, that is going to be on there. So you've got A, up, B, up. Um, ST track circuit and the approach track circuit on the up and then you've got exactly the same down A, B um, your, your ST track circuit and then your, a, your approach track circuit so that's your stop track circuit that's your approach track circuit A and B uh, for your up and your down line so that gives you your indication back to your signals and then also just down here that means these are the spare terminals so not all of these are going to be used on each board. So it means then if I do want to run lighting, I can put lighting on these two and it still gives me five um, spaces left to be utilised for whatever um, other little things that I want to do. So I've got a, um, a third rail arcing um, little simulation that I'll be able to put on. So I'll be taking those off one of the power there. Uh, or the lighting down the bottom. It really does depend on what you want to do. So there's there's loads of different things you can do. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you. So these are the wires underneath. Um, so the, this line nearest me on the diagram is the down line. So I know that this is here is going to be my DCC. So that's going to be... Um, the common. So I'll mark it on there so then we know. And then here, um, we know that this is going to be um, two different things here. So this one here is the line coming into the tunnel, which is our stop track. And that is for the down. And that is going to be our approach track for the down. So a lot, a lot of people do do it in different ways. Um, so that's those three wires. So then what we then do is we go back to our plan. So the DCC common will go to that one there. And then the DCC stop track for the down will go onto one of these terminals, which obviously I'll, I'll write down the numbers of where they need to go. And then, so we now know that this is gonna be your DCC common again. And now this one's going to be completely different. So this side will be the approach. And this will be the stop. And that's for the up. And that's for the up. So then now I can work out where these wires go um, on this diagram here. Um, and then I should be able to start wiring it. So there's loads of different ways people can wire it. I looked at going down the I-Train route 
um, and various different to uh, other manufacturers and that. And I, I really do like the, uh, the, the railway signaling solution stuff. So I just thought, well, I've been trialing it out on Ebsworth Street. I tried it out on another layout called Stonycroft. Um, and we've also tried it another layout on Cedar Court Wagon Yard, which you may have seen on my social media of all the different little bits that I've been doing. So I've actually got the soldering iron on. Um, I use a digital soldering iron and I will just show you in a second, just making sure that it is actually on. And it is. There we go. So I know I've definitely got the soldering iron on. So um, this is the soldering iron that I use. Uh, I picked this one up for 35 quid um, on eBay actually as it goes. Um, digital soldering iron. Uh, I've got myself a, a soldering iron cleaner down there. Uh, and obviously you can then change the temperature to whichever way you want. Um, best thing to do is obviously do get yourself a, a decent soldering iron because obviously if you're going to be doing a lot of wiring, um, you do want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start doing some wiring on these. Now, as you can see, these wires are quite small. So this is the reason why I've had to double up on um, some of the stuff. Um, so let's get wiring on the layout so on this one I'm going to be the common is whichever way it's going to do so I'm going to mix these up so this one here I'm going to put straight up to this one here so a lot of people do tend to do it so it's quite tight but I'm going to just do it so it's a little bit easier um, to solder on so all I do is I know you're probably not going to really see much but um, do some clippers and then you can use wire strippers but um, I've done many years of soldering iron, so you get used to um, how to do it. There you go, I'll bring you around a little bit, there you go. so you can see um, what I'm doing. And here we go, so all I tend to do is get a little bit of soldering iron and a bit of solder, obviously tin that, uh, and then obviously just put a bit of solder onto there. And then just heat that up and it should just slide straight through like that and connect. So once that's in, I'll just flatten it down. So that's one done. And then exactly the same, but this one is going to go this side, um, which is on there. And then all I'm going to do is this one to be a bit crafty because I need to use the two wires now and I need to link between the two um, some of you saying yeah you could have done it I just realized as I've looked at the diagrams that I need to link the two together um, so it evens out the voltage across so exactly the same thing again just trying to get you on screen so you can see it um, is make sure you do um, in it because it does make it a lot easier than trying to just shove it through the hole and uh, hoping that it uh, stays in there while you're soldering. So this one here is you to use your opposite hand to do the solder and there we go, in you go, in you go. There we go. So that is one part of it done. Now all I'm going to do is just do that up there, that round, and then recut that. So fingers crossed. Hopefully, I should be able to get a fair few of these done um, today. Um, get all this wired up, and I have, I'm going to have to do some link wires, which has to go between all the connectors. So. It just, it's a slow process, but then once you've got the majority of it done, um, it's uh, it's another step forward to actually getting it running. Um, and not everybody's good at soldering, I understand that, but you know, practice makes perfect everything. So, now we've got the down um, stop track 
So the down stop track goes to number eight. So we now start counting. So when I was S and T, start at the top uh, and then count down. I know it's a lot of um, sucking eggs sort of thing, but um, the trouble is if you put it on the wrong wire on the railway, you can cause an incident. Pretty much what happened at Clapham. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just gonna mark it there. So we know that's number eight, and then we just check it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we now know that is the correct one for the stop track for number eight. Um, so now what we do, well, that's quite a, a nice little one, so we can just do that. Cut it there. Now, sometimes you can do this at the same time when I soldered up the top of the track. You know, it saves you wasting um, lengths of wire. Um, but sometimes these little lengths of wire, you just stick them in a box and then you can reuse them at a later date um, if, they, if they're long enough to be used. Um, so here we go. So we just put it onto there, give it a bit of solder. And then there we go. And now that is on the uh, stop track. Once it then settles. So now we've got the approach track for the down, which is this one here, which goes on number nine. So we know that's number eight, but we're just going to check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we just check just to make sure, because otherwise uh, you then have to move two wires instead of one, um, which I am going to say I have done it before. Um, we're not all perfect. Um, so same thing again, sometimes I have cut the wire like this and then it's not cut it and it's obviously cut the actual whole wire underneath. And then I'm like, oh, damn it, I'm going to have to replace the wire now on the top and the bottom. Um, so same thing again, just, just tin there. There we go. So, which is a bit of a shame because obviously next week, on Thursday, which will be the 20th of May, um, the club rooms can open up. But unfortunately, I'm working. So, Right, so now we've got exactly the same thing again. Um, but now we've got to do the up lines, which are these ones just down here. Just out the screen, but you can see them now. So we've got the approach track. So the approach track is opposite number nine. So we can go straight over to there. So coming down to here would be number 13 so we've got 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 and that is on the opposite side so we know that is going to be that one there so we now can you can either do two things you can either keep all the wires up and then go round because obviously the way this is going to be dangling down so because of that what i then tend to do is i tend to just run it through all these um, which then just gives it that little bit of um, security and holding it into place. Um, and then at least in that way, nothing is dangling. So that's why some of the wires are a little bit longer. And then we'll do exactly the same thing again. Tin the wires. And then we're pretty much all ready to go so i'm just gonna redo that one because i think the... here we go that's a bit better so like there i just cut two i just cut it just a little bit too hard i only had two strands of wire um and i don't particularly want to have just two strands of wire on the layout because i want it to work pretty well yeah so unfortunately um in my job i get spare weeks uh, and uh, next week on my spare week, uh, I'm late turn, so I'm unable to attend. And then in the following week, I'm night, so I'll be able to go down, but only for a short period of time um, before then I have to leave to come home um, to go to work. So there we go. So that's the approach track. 
and now we are going to be doing the stop track so exactly the same thing again all i'm going to do is i'm just going to wind it through all the wires just to hold it into place i know my wrist is in the way and then we know this one is going to be on the stop track um, for that and all we're going to be doing is we're just going to leave ourselves a little bit i might as well wind it through that one as well while we're there Get, holds that one into place as well so we know it's going to be opposite side there and cut that and then we are ready to go so then fingers crossed there we go tin that put some solder on there he says there we go and then feed wire through the hole he says when it's decided to I'm not as strong with my left hand with the soldering iron. I'm a right-handed person, so trying to do things left-handed, um, sometimes you do have to do it. So that from there, so that end is wired. So all I'm going to do is just tighten that, cut that, and now that is done. Um, I have to got, I've got to do some link wires through this lot to go through. Um, so this board here um, is actually the um, where the um, bridge is. You can just see there the, the fantastic one the water's dropped underneath. Um, and I've got the same again, that end. Now this end, there's only four wires um, because this is this is an easier end um, because there's no track circuit. So here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that I need to move a board or two out of the way so I can move my chair down. So, here we go. So now this end here we know we've got two lines again. Um, so we're going to have to work out what they are. So we know that this end here is the down. Um, is correct we know that end there is the down and we know this end here is the up so same thing again we'll start off with the black wires the black wires are the dcc which are number one so you can use different um connectors different wires uh, and etc for these but um, for this one here all i'm going to do is i'm going to run this one over to this side um, this time round so i'm going to cut it there and then I'm gonna cut that end obviously use the bit of wire I'm gonna do the loop at the same time this end already so I'm not wasting a bit of solder so there we go wire it all up so there you can just about see it outside of the screen up pop some solder onto there and then the same thing again with the left hand is just to put a solder on and get it through there we go sorted so that's that one done and then we will do exactly the same here um, is to I'm going to link this one through a little bit. I know I've left the wires a little bit long on this one, but we all make mistakes with it. There we go. So we're going to do there for that one. And then with the link wire, just going to wrap that round a couple of times. And then give myself enough. That's what happens when you're a bit too, a little bit too heavy-handed, which it happens. There we go. 
and then open the last one and then twist the two wires together solder on the tag strip and then solder in there we go and now that is that end of the baseball done so now we just gotta so we know that's the common so what we're gonna do now is write what these are going to be so with this one, we want to make sure that we have got the correct um, stop track on. So we know that we need to put another feed in, which is here, which I have forgot to do. Naughty boy. So I need to get some red wire, which I have here. Uh, and this is actually going to be going up through there, which I think I'm going to have to put the baseboard on its top so you can actually see. So I've, I've wired some of it, but I forgot to add a hole. So you can just see the joint just there, and I need to find where the hole is and drill the hole and then solder the wire in. How I've missed it. Um, the joys of uh, trying to get a lot done in a small space of time. So there we go, so we found the drill. And what I'm gonna do is, okay, I should have given you a better view. But so all I'm going to do is I'm going to drill up from the bottom because obviously I've got ballast at the top so fingers crossed there we go and then if I take over the top have we got the and you can just see the drill bit poking through there so that's all sorted so I'm just going to take that out so we know and I'm just going to Through, and then I'm just going to push the wire through on this one so we know that the wire is there so that's fine so grab ourselves some red wire and then I'm going to show you how you wire it on the track so there we go there's our uh, stop that's our approach track so we should have another hole which I think is just here if I'm also my and it is. There we go. So we've got another hole which is down here, which is for our, our approach track. So that's why you leave some of the wires um, a little bit spare just in case you do need to. Um, so this one I'm just gonna poke through. Almost like I planned to do this, but I didn't. Um, so it's just this is quite an awkward one because it's where the the bridge is and the beam. So there we go. Feed that through and feed that one through. So we now know I've got enough wire to get to the get to the upside. There we go. So there, that's where the two wires have got to go so with this one here um, we try and do it as neat as possible because we don't want people to see the wiring now when I wire the tracks um, I always tend to put red on the back line and black on the front red and then black so then you can't really see it um, just makes it that tiny little bit easier to uh, to disguise or weather up or anything so we know I've got the wire there so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to move you into a position that you can see what I'm doing and 
hopefully. There we go. So as you can see there, the wire is just down there. So all I'm gonna do is heat up the rail. So I'm gonna just heat the rail up, move some of it so you can see, and then just slowly just move it, move the soldering iron buttons on forwards. Just so I've got a little bit of solder onto the rail. And then all I'm gonna do is tin my wire first, that will help. Make sure I've got enough. Tin it on there, clean the soldering iron, and then grab it, and then try and get it to sit into place. So that's now sat into place on there. And then while we're here, we'll do the other one. Same thing in twist the wires. And then tin it. And same thing again is just place to stick the old wires in. And that's in place. Give it a tug and a tug. Okay. Turn the soldering dying down a bit. And then bring me back down. To the bottom of the layout and then just pull the wires through just to make sure that give it a little bit of a tag and then just check the wires and that you can't even see the wires you can see a little bit of the, the heat of the route so we know now this is going to this wire here is going to be our stop track for the up which goes uh, on to number 22. So exactly the same thing again is we know that this is number one at this side and this is number 14 this side. So we've got 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then we want 22, which is that one there. So this one here is an orange black. I'll go over to the other side. And the stop track is on number 21. So I've, there you go. So that's why that's how easy it can be. So we've got the 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we've got a purple black. Let's check over there, purple black. So now I've just got to feed the wire through there. And then on to that one there. And then cut it there. And then a bit there. I know this, this video is probably going to be a little bit boring, but at least then you can see how I'm wiring it up uh, and the process of it gives you an idea of you know what actually goes into um a layout wiring you know a lot of people think you know layout wiring is pretty easy it's not um dcc is only two wires they said um i'm still i'm still convincing myself it's more than two wires but <laughs> we'll get there eventually so this one here is the approach track and that is also the approach track for the up line so I'm going to do exactly the same here um, is I'm going to link these wires all together um, and then just twangle them. And then we now know that this one here is going to go on to uh, number 22 for the upline, which will be this one. And then that one will join it. So that 
that's that line, that's that line. So that's what goes with that, that's definitely right. So just making sure, because obviously the track is on the opposite way round. So the down line is nearest, the baseball is nearest the front edge, which is here, and the back is where the signal, so that is correct. So then we know that's going to go on to that one there, and that's going to go on to that one there. So give us a little bit of slack. And then we'll be able to test it and buzz it through just to make sure that the whole line from one end of the line to the other end of the line is all on the same terminals and it's all linked together. Um, which I'll be able to show you in a moment. Um, just so that you've got it all buzzed and checked. So we'll get these ones wired. So get that tinned, which is now. Give them a little bit of the soldering iron on now. And then hang it up. Get it in and then solder it down. So we've got one more wire left to do on here. So all we've got is we've got the line nearest me, which is the down approach track. So the down approach track goes on number nine. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is a orange. And then we've got an orange on the other end. So what I'm going to do is just mark there and just test again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then just to be a bit pedantic, is just going to wrap it up on now. Bring it down. Cut it. And then twist the cores together a bit of tinning which is just out your screen as I can tell and then onto there make sure we've got a bit of tinning and then feed it through once it's high enough to go through and then sure that it's all in place and there we go so uh, just tighten that cut that so now um, as you can see that end is now wired and that end is now wired so that's all pretty much done so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the meter which is over here what I prepared earlier so all I'm going to do is just check to make sure that they um, buzz out. So on the meter, you can just see it there. Uh, we're just going to test it. You can hear the buzzer. So all I'm going to do now um, is um, just test to make sure that they're, they're buzzing through. So we know we've got the um, track. So we know that that side connected to that side. And then I'm going to connect to those two at the top and then just run the down the rest of the course just to make sure that's there and then what I can do is I can go from there to the top track so we now know we are live on the top track which is good so now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the down line so I know it's going to be pretty boring because you can't really see much um, so here I know this is the down line approach track so if i did from there to there which is the down line and then i know there is a joint up here and i know i'm not on there so that's fine so what i can do is i can go down to the down line approach track here and i know that i'm connected through that line so as i'm continuing with the down line i know i've got the down line stop track so I'm going to pop it on this terminal and then just pop it on up here 
and I know that I'm working. So we know the downline on this baseboard is complete. So now we've got to do the upline. So we've got an upline approach track, which is here, um, which is this one. And then we're just gonna check it from there. So we know that's fine. Um, and we haven't got no upline, um, uh, we've got no upline approach track on on this one because on a different, this, this upline approach track goes to the next board. Um, but we've got the um, up stop track, um, which goes to upline stop track is on terminal number 21. So I'll go to there. And that's fine. So that's the upline stop track. And then just the text it on the top. That's fine. And then it's broken there. And then we've got another approach track, which is the up approach track, which is on this board, which then goes on to this one. And that all buzzes out. So there we have it. So there we have it. That is how you wire one baseboard. Um, and then if you look behind me, when the, the camera decides it wants to turn around, I've got another five to go. So that's taken me roughly around 25 minutes because obviously I've explained it to you. Uh, I've got the rest of the mark out, so I'm gonna mark the rest of them out. Um, hopefully try and get some more wired up. Um, and then I'll probably wrap it up for that video. So just want to say a huge thank you again. I hope you enjoyed the little trip out on the HST that I had. Um, hope you've learned something new with the wiring. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment box below. And what I will do is I'll see you on the next video. So fingers crossed in roughly around about maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks time, I'll actually have the layout up and running. So you may not see from me for a couple of weeks, but just remember, stay tuned. See you later. Bye-bye. Huge thanks to Steve for sending over the video of the East Big Northern's HST.